The German military industry allows you to create weapons of a level corresponding to the best world analogues. At the same time, the general trend of European integration has not spared the German military industry. And currently, only a few samples are purely German development. Most of the weapons are created in cooperation with other European countries. The German company Rheinmetall presents an advanced main battle tank, the main feature of which is a 130mm Smoothberg gun. According to the developers, this gun has significantly more firepower than the guns installed on any other tank in the world and will be able to destroy any most protected armored target. This will provide a promising tank with superiority over any opponent in a dual situation at long distances. The tank is equipped with an automatic loader. The tank's armor has also been improved, but its features are not reported. The vehicle is equipped with a new combat information and control system that increases its effectiveness in combat when operating as part of a unit. A set of ammunition is also being created for this weapon. Along with the creation of a new tank, the capabilities of the existing Leopard 2A7 are also increasing. In the 2A7 Plus modification, the situational awareness of the crew has been significantly improved, equipment for panoramic all-round viewing has been installed on the tank. Its reservation and the system of warning and protection against anti-tank weapons and mine explosive devices have been improved. The new communication and automated control equipment significantly increases the crew's ability to interact with infantry units. The Mantis short-range anti-aircraft artillery system is designed to protect important objects from low-flying aerial targets, such as cruise missiles, drones, helicopters and others. The Mantis battery includes a command post, two fire control stations, including a locator and an optoelectronic guidance system, and up to eight anti-aircraft guns with a caliber of 35 mm. Ammunition fuses are automatically programmed to detonate, depending on the parameters of the movement of an aerial target. The system can operate 24 hours a day in fully automatic mode without operator involvement. The reaction time of the system from the detection of an aerial target to its firing is about 4 seconds. Naval anti-aircraft artillery systems are also being created on its basis. A further direction in the development of short-range air defense is the creation of laser weapons. The laser makes it possible to counteract threats such as small-sized drones, loitering munitions and other low-flying targets, faster and more accurately. And currently, prototypes of these weapons are being tested under the leadership of the Bundeswehr, which are already showing results in defeating these targets. In the future, the laser system is planned to be used by analogy with the Mantis anti-aircraft system, only lasers will be installed instead of anti-aircraft guns. The Boxer multi-purpose armored vehicle has a weight of up to 38 tons, depending on the configuration, while having a high level of mobility both on rough terrain and on the highway. The maximum speed reaches 105 km per hour. The armament can be a 30mm automatic cannon in the IFV variant and a 12.7mm machine gun or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher in the APC variant. The weapon is installed in a remote-controlled uninhabited turret. The vehicle is equipped with a new fire control system and a combat control system. The feature of the design of the machine is that it consists of two main modules, the main and a specialized module in the aft part, which if necessary, can be undocked and changed to another depending on the task, transportation of personnel, cargo, medical support and other. The power reserve of the vehicle is just over 1000 kilometers. The armor holds the hit of bullets with a caliber of 12.7 millimeters and the detonation of mine explosive devices up to 10 kilograms in TNT equivalent. The landing party consists of eight people. The Meade's medium-range anti-aircraft missile system is being improved, designed to combat all types of aerial targets, including tactical and cruise missiles, drones and others of a range of up to 100 kilometers. The main direction of modernization is to increase the capabilities to intercept hypersonic missiles. The complex consists of a control center with a long-range detection radar, missile guidance post and launchers.
The modernization of the Eurofighter Typhoon fighter is aimed at significantly increasing its combat capabilities to a level comparable to fifth-generation fighters. The installation of new engines will allow to achieve supersonic cruising speed. The sighting and navigation system will be updated, as well as means of communication and data transmission, including satellites. A new radar with an active phased array has been installed, which will significantly increase the detection range and the number of simultaneously tracked targets. Simultaneous operation by air and by land is possible. The range of aviation weapons has been expanded, including the Taurus high-precision cruise missiles, as well as the Spur 3 planning aviation ammunition. The aircraft is planned to be integrated into the Advanced European Combat Aviation System FCAS. The Taurus air-launched cruise missile is designed to hit important enemy targets in conditions of strong air defense opposition. The firing range is about 500 kilometers. Due to its relatively small size and the use of composite materials, the missile has low radar visibility. The flight to the target is performed at extremely low altitudes with the circumference of the terrain. It is possible to perform an anti-SAM maneuver and launching decoys. The German self-propelled artillery Panzer Hobbits 2000 is one of the best in the world. This vehicle is equipped with a 155mm gun with a firing range of up to 60 km. Ammunition 60 shells. The automatic loading of the gun provides a rate of fire of 10 rounds per minute. The combat vehicle has a rather weak reservation, protecting it from bullets of 14.5mm caliber and fragments of artillery shells. Although, given the conditions of use of this weapon, no more is required. The main direction of modernization is the digitalization of fire control and the inclusion of the gun in a common reconnaissance and strike circuit. The Advanced Frigate IS-180 is essentially a multi-purpose warship. Its tasks include providing air defense, as well as performing strike missions against enemy objects, ships and submarines. The displacement of the ship is about 10,000 tons. The crew is 114 people. The ship's armament will consist of a 127mm gun, an American Universal Vertical Launch Installations, which will allow the use of a wide range of weapons, including crews, anti-aircraft, anti-ship and anti-submarine missiles of various types. The short-range air defense system will be represented by the RIM missile system. Heavy IFV Puma weighing about 40 tons. The armor protects the crew and troops from being hit by 30mm shells. The armament of the vehicle is represented by a 30mm automatic cannon with a firing range of up to 2 km and an MG4 machine gun with a NATO caliber of 5.56mm. The commander and gunner's seats are equipped with panoramic sights that work both day and night. The weapon control system has a laser rangefinder. Thus, Germany is one of the most technologically advanced countries in the European Union. The scientific and technical potential of this country allows it to create samples of weapons that are at the leading world level, while there is a large percentage of cooperation with other European countries. Well, we are for world peace, subscribe to the channel, put likes, write comments, see you again.